Businesses across the country still struggling to hire workers. Now, some employers are rolling out new creative incentives to try to attract job candidates. One new offering, how about getting your paycheck every day? But there's a catch. Workers have to pay a small fee if they want to tap their earnings right away. CNBC's Kate Rogers explains. In the midst of a historic labor crunch, apps like Branch and Daily Pay are gaining traction. They allow hourly workers to access their paychecks same day instead of weekly or biweekly. But the employee must pay a fee. Daily Pay charges $2.99 for instant access or $1.99 for next day access. And some next day agreements have no fees at all. The company says it's being used across the service sector and helping to onboard workers more quickly. From a recruiting standpoint, what our data is showing us is that employees who see a job ad that is offering daily pay as part of the benefits package, they actually come to that employer 53% quicker than they would if not. Groups like the National Association of Consumer Advocates have said these apps may be better than payday loans but need oversight. The group's director saying the solution is to pay workers more, not offer them access to their pay with a fee. But Daily Pay says its whole goal is to get rid of payday loans altogether. Something like 88% of our user base who used to use a payday loan actually no longer do. 94% of our population who used to overdraft their bank account no longer have a single overdraft. Some restaurant owners say the benefit can be a helpful recruitment tool. Brandon Stewart runs more than 50 Jimmy John's locations. He says daily pay gives him an edge with hiring new workers. So I just saw that as a real opportunity to be able to pay our people faster. Um, you know, in this environment, uh, you get a lot of you get a lot of people asking for pay advances and things like that, which we were always willing to do for people that had already earned that money. Um, you know, and daily pay just made it a lot easier for them to access their money much faster. Now, the real question here, Kelly, is, is this working? The most recent data from the National Restaurant Association shows four in five restaurants are still understaffed. So while this could be a hiring and retaining tool, it's likely not the solution to the labor crunch in so many service industries. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.